Molly Ticehurst. She should be caring for her son tonight, texting her friends. Instead, she's the 25th woman allegedly murdered by a partner or former partner this year. She did everything right. Left him, went to police, but her alleged killer got bail. And now she's dead. It's about Molly and people need to speak Molly's name. She was one of the most beautiful humans that you'll ever meet. Molly did everything for everybody without any rhyme or reason for it. Now I want you to think about the most fun, amazing mum that you know, that you see, and that was Molly. Molly Ticehurst, a mum who won't get to raise her child. She saw the red flags and she left. What hurts most for family friends like Jacinda, it should never have been possible. Molly asked for help and when she asked for help, she got none. It wasn't received in the way that it should have been received in and it let her down and she should still be here and she's not. A 28 year old with so much to live for. The latest young life allegedly cut short by a violent male partner or ex. I'm heartbroken. I'm, I'm heartbroken. I'm heartbroken for Molly. I'm heartbroken for her baby. I'm heartbroken for her parents. Nobody should ever have to bury their child. And especially, nobody should ever have to bury their child under any circumstances whatsoever. And then to have to deal with what happened to Molly, I don't know, I, I don't, I've actually got no words for it, none. Has the system failed? 100% the system's failed. The system failed that failed her. And it's just like it's failed hundreds of other women before her and something has to change. It's a senseless loss of life being felt around the country, but hardest in Forbes in central western New South Wales by Molly's family and friends. Everybody can stand up and say how amazing of a person Molly was and, you know, that she did everything right because Molly did everything right. Somebody has to be Molly's voice in this to speak up. You need to speak up. If you see something wrong in your friends, in your family, speak up. Because if somebody had spoken up, maybe it might not have happened. The alleged killer is Molly's former partner, 29-year-old Daniel Billings. He had previously been married in 2018. In the wedding video, he shadow boxes. A court heard this morning he'd been charged with several offences against Molly, including three counts of sexual intercourse without consent, four counts of stalk intimidate and two counts of recklessly destroy property. He's also been accused of animal cruelty and despite all that, he was granted bail by a registrar. On condition, he report daily to Parks Police. An apprehended domestic violence order was supposed to stop him from going to Molly's hometown of Forbes. He was ordered not to contact Molly or go within one kilometre of her home or work. The court hearing that 15 days after being released on bail and after Molly was granted the AVO, it's alleged Billings went to Molly's home to murder her. If it's found that Daniel Billings did this, what would you say to the person who gave him bail? Why? Were they thinking about Molly? Do they need to change their way of thinking and think about the victims? Are they thinking about the victims? Are they sitting there up where they sit and are they thinking about the victims when they're stamping these bail conditions and saying, you're fine, off you go? And the fact that he was allowed to walk out of that police station completely unattended with a piece of paper that says, don't go near that girl again, is absolutely horrifying and disgusting and the behaviour needs to change. Well, I can understand real community concern about the circumstances relating to that decision. New South Wales Premier Chris Min. I'll be speaking to the Attorney General later today to understand all the information that he has about the circumstances leading up to this killing. But it's too late for Molly, and for those closest to her, 
grappling with the crushing, needless laws. Where's the system and when's it going to change? When does it change so that people, it's too late for Molly, it, it's too late. It is too late for Molly, but it shouldn't be. And I think we've all had enough. 